Hospice came along and it's been perfect ever since. From wanting to give up to now enjoying the time he has left. OSF Healthcare started their new hospice program this year and patients are already feeling the benefits of it. WCIA3's Miranda Meister joins us now. Miranda, tell us about this patient. Caitlin Steven Denzer has only been receiving care since December. He knows that hospice wasn't meant to extend his life, but he says he knows it has. If it wasn't for being hooked up to oxygen, you would never know Steve Denzer is sick. I joined hospice 73 years ago and I'm still here. But just five months ago, Denzer wasn't laughing much at all. He had gotten out of the hospital after multiple rounds of cancer treatment. When he came home and his wife suggested hospice, Denzer was skeptical. Steve wasn't on board with it in the beginning because he felt like they were going to bring in a hospital bed and then it was all over. But he came around to it and he has never been more grateful. I came home and uh, started hospice and everything started feeling better. Karen Davidson is one of Denzer's nurses. She says hospice is not about trying to extend someone's life, but instead helping them have a good quality of life. Because they're feeling better physically, then emotionally that helps them to feel better. For Denzer, because of the care he's received, he's able to enjoy the little things. I could walk upstairs and now I can walk up on my own. I have a music room up there, that's my therapy room. But Davidson and the other nurses aren't just caring for their patient. They're helping his wife also. It just takes so much pressure off because then you feel like you got somebody else in your corner. Hospice might not be meant to lengthen someone's life, but Denzer feels different. I feel like I'm going to live longer. You know, and it's, hospice is definitely for the living, not the dying. Davidson tells me people should start hospice care sooner rather than later. They can do so much more when they have more time with their patients. Caitlin. All right. Thank you so much, Miranda.